Hello. Hi. Hi. Am I too loud to try it? No, you're fine. I can always uh adjust. I can always adjust you. So would you rather be at school today? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> wow. Okay. Um So Logan, um I had to, I had to bring Logan on to play this. Because I've heard this could be a little difficult. Because he uh he beat Darkest Dungeon last night. Which is a feat I have never never myself been able to muster. So that was rough. congratulations, yeah. He lost how many how many how many max level characters died in the darkest dungeon before you beat it? Uh like ten. Ten. That's ten max level characters you gotta re-level. Man, that's tough. Alright, I'm gonna start a multiplayer game. Um Do I, so how do I do this? Create a new game? Play with up to three friends. All right, we want US East. Go. You'll only be able to select heroes you have previously unlocked. On the other hand, unlocking heroes in multiplayer game mode will let you play those heroes in any available mode. Okay, good. All right. It's gonna be a private room. Uh, game description. Bog and Sun. Um. Make sure you make a password. I should make a password? Yeah. Alright, let me make a password here. tell you the room ID too. I'll just invite Steam friends. That's even easier. Oh. Damn it says I'm so close to getting this achievement I have to kill 20 monsters. In this game? Yeah. Oh. Even though I haven't played it once. I know right? I invited you. I can invite oh, me again. It's about I think I'm but thanks for the my tip. My asked me what an acorn is. I told them it was an oak tree in the nutshell. Oh my god. That's great though. I like that. Thank you for the thank you for the tip. That's a good that's a good one. You've beaten Darkest Dungeon as well, Gatorade? You beat the original two thorny? Oh man, you guys are making me wanna like do another a new run. I'm trying to do it. I asked Logan though how many how many hours on this new playthrough. He said about forty something. Okay. All right, I got Logan in. Here we go. Oh boy. What is this? I know this is a this is a lot to absorb here. All right, drag yeah. the characters you want to use in this game some attacks can only target front back okay so recommended class for each position um okay so we've got i guess we'll take choose one of each yeah so who do you want to be well here we go let's see i'll go what's happening yeah i don't know how to do this they're all locked The master of the game must assign a player to each slot. Oh, okay, I got it. Okay, so. Oh, oh so you click on. Okay, got it. Something like that. What? Okay. Let's uh, let's have you want to do do something like that? Sure. Who's your top person? You want to be those two? Oh wait, I thought that's what we had to do. What do you want to do? I want to be scout the most. You want to be scout the most. All right, I'll yeah. choose. All right, so you choose scout. I'll choose Magnus. Who's your next pick? I'll take healer. Okay. You should give me the other slot then, though. Okay. Logan heals me all the time in Overwatch. We're used to this dynamic. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Here we 
go. So you can play up to four players. Princess's 16th birthday. <gasps> 16th birthday? What's up, Arctic Rooster? When suddenly, a burst of energy erupted from the princess's chamber and swept through the kingdom of Synenthia. The royal guards explored every corner of the castle, but found no sign of her or Lord Hanshek, the court magician. The king sent soldiers all over the kingdom, but none of them returned. The trail of the princess was lost deep in the old forest, near the ancient obelisk that had been dormant for centuries. Desperate, the king proclaimed a royal decree announcing a reward for whoever brought the princess home safely. Okay. The news spread quickly throughout the kingdom. No fishing, though. Many groups of adventurers prepared to investigate the obelisk. Is that a pig? Like this tangled, is the story. Yeah, yeah that's a pig groups. class. That's a pig pope? Looks like a pig pope. Oh, you twisted your bite. ankle, Arctic Rooster? I'm sorry to hear that. Oh, boy. All right, are elemental monsters a problem for your party? will increase your elemental resistance. Oh, okay. Um, holy crap. They like giving you these screens where you don't even know what's going on. Um, I guess we click on this. We have 150 gold and 150 shards. Shards. We can go to the tavern. Oh! So this is where our cards are. I don't know, are you seeing this too? Uh, Where'd you get that? I don't know, I clicked on oh, the okay. castle. You, you just right click one of them. One of your characters, you just right click it. All right, I'm not gonna actually look at, I, I'm not gonna change my deck. Um, yeah. So I don't even know where, where are we? We're in the bottom where it says tavern, king of kingdom. Of Sinentia. It's the blue sparkly place. Okay. Well, I think we can click on town here. Oh, sorry. That was my fault. Oh, I did it too. Town actions. You can craft new cards for your decks, upgrade any card that you have, and buy equipment for your heroes. You'll also be able to claim rewards from previous games. Okay. So what carries over between runs, I wonder? It's probably going to be like available cards that you can like unlock. Okay, I don't even know what to buy, so. Town upgrades. Da bum bum bum. I like the music. Okay, there's, there's some base stats that you can buy, and then there's uh, like equipment, and then there's the cards that you can buy. Okay, and I have none of these crates. We have no supplies yet. Zingarian cart. If you have enough money, they will grant you a divination card round. Okay. Would there have been a tutorial if we played solo or like? I feel okay, like... we'll figure it out. Okay. I'm just gonna click ready. Oh, you're not gonna buy anything? I don't know. Should we buy something? I said look at the equipment, because you can get uh, just base stats from that. Like damage plus one? Yeah. Do, 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 do. Combat? Okay, I'm going to buy a simple hat for Magnus. Did that use your money too? Nope. It didn't? So how much money you got? I have 150. Oh, nice. Okay. So I bought a hat. Okay, so you have 150 to spend on two characters. Yeah. And I have the same. Crafting cards. Each town you'll be able to craft cards that you have previously unlocked for all your heroes. Some restrictions will be applied based on town upgrades. All right, so I have shards. How about one card for each person? Did you use shards? Yeah. Okay, I'm going to get Frostbolt. And there's also a church where you can remove cards. It's interesting. Okay. 
Okay. I already had Frostbolt. I now have an extra one, I guess. Yeah. Oh, well. No, I don't want to exit. Where's my map? This gig just let himself back in. All right, I'm ready. Do you want to do a fight, a fight, or a fight? Hmm, maybe we should go with fight. What about the next level? Uh, oh, it's not apparent, but you can send money and shards to each other. Okay, that's pretty cool. Yeah. All right, Tom's Farm, Scorch Field. I don't think it really matters too much. Uh, I said we got the middle. You want to do middle? Okay. Let's do it. Just cut through the map right in the middle. Alright, I gotta close the door. Oh no. Alright, what are these? Angry sheep? Sheep. Alright, so whose turn is it? It's my turn right now, it looks like. Okay, yeah, you can see on the top whose turns it is. <laughs> Alright, so where does it show how much energy you have? Uh, in the bottom, you'll see it in the bottom right. You mean left? Oh, bottom right. This four? Yeah. Okay. Alright, so there's a slow, vulnerable, that's free. All right, free is good. That's a big. Yeah. I'm going to grab uh, five block to myself. I'm going to grab five block to our healer. Oh, I can gain two energy with this? Yeah, hell yeah. Let's do it. I got to use all my cards. Nice. And I still have two things left over. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. End turn. We're gonna kick these sheep's asses. You also seem to have four yellow bars and three green under your character. Yeah, I don't know what that means yet. Yeah, I don't know. Let's see. I think it might be energy. Is there a tutorial uh, other guy that we we somehow missed? No? Okay. It shows under your health something they don't explain to you. You can keep energy for future turns. Took me two runs uh, to realize it. Oh, nice. All right. There's no tutorial, Shadow? That's so weird. Why would they not have tutorial? You just have to hover over everything. All right. I guess they assume you've played games like this before. We're smart enough to figure this out. All right. Um, I have two free fire blasts. So we'll get rid of the first guy. Um... Insulate. Fire, cold, and lightning resistance is plus 30%. I don't think we need resistances to elements against sheep. Or maybe yes, we, we do. do. Just send both of your frost bolts. Yeah. Easy. Easy clap. Uh, why didn't it kill it? It had resistance. Oh. Balls. Go priest. What does Foresight do? I think it allows you to see what they're going to be doing. Yeah. So they're oh, just going to be gating. Yeah. Woolly shell. I'm just going to end my turn here because I have... I can end, start with extra energy. Tantrum! Alright, this is Logan's character. This card vanishes if I use it. Oh. So that goes away for the run. Or not for, for the, the run, run or for the combat. combat. For the combat, okay. Hey, Caesar Pony, what's up? How's this multiplayer? I'm playing as the, the the fighter and the wizard, and Logan's playing as the scout and the priest. You can play up to four four players, and each player has their own, controls their own person. Yeah. Wow. 
So it's like a Slay the Spire, Darkest Dungeon hybrid, but multiplayer. Oh, this is my character. And you get you get better uh, loot depending on uh, what turn you win the round on. Really? You can see it in the middle top with the little bar. Oh, yeah. Performance bonus. Oh, okay. So we're not gonna, all right. We're gonna kill him in turn two, round two. Yeah. Bah! We did it. All right. No, it's God, not an action. It's not an card? action game, or, uh, Rooster. What do you say? Do we choose a card? I think. During your adventures, you will discover new cards after each combat. All cards shown will be unlocked. Remember, you will only be able to craft oh. unlocked cards. All right, so we get all of these. So That's I don't think we get these, but we can um yeah, we can now find them in runs. Right. That's a lot. It's a lot to deal with. Okay. Sweet. Oh, you pick one or shards? Wait, it said all of them. Yeah. Did Oops. we just pick things? This game's confusing. Alright. Uh main road, common event. Oh wait, I picked. Yeah, I have 17 cards now. Oh, I don't know what I picked. What did I pick? You only picked one for your uh, <laughs> mage. I picked a mace, did I? I don't know. All right, let's go to the main road event. Some options will force you to roll in order to determine the result of the action. Each character will use the cards from their own deck. All right, a grave on the road. As you move down the road, you see a small grave on the side and decide to get closer. The grave has no name, but for some reason, you can feel an eerie aura around it. Your adventurous spirit screams treasure, or maybe it's danger. What do you do? All right, you can leave. We're not grave robbers. Profane, you start digging and hope for the best. Forge, ignore the grave, but take some time to search for magic shards. Or yeah. I, I can try to perform an exorcism before digging. You want to forage? Yeah. All right, we're going to forage. You have to vote too. So we picked out cards from our deck and we needed five yeah, or lower. Yeah, we need five or lower. All right, looking for shards in this place was a good idea. You get 150 plus 72 something else's. I think it's XP. Yeah. Nice. All right. Cool. I feel like we're going to get a fight in these pasture fields. If you hover over a die, it tells you the odds, plus it. Okay, got it. Who? The obelisk influence is corrupting the monsters in this area. You can choose to fight them under the effects of corruption to increase the difficulty and gain additional rewards. Burning monsters. All monsters gain plus one damage, 10% fire resistance. When a monster deals damage, it applies one. All right, this, choose one of these rewards. This party will heal 30% of their max hit points at the end of combat, or the party will gain access to a rare equipment shop. Ooh. Do you want to accept the challenge and get a rare equipment shop? We only have sure. 65 gold, but... Or, or do you want to heal? What's the point of healing if we can just go for easy? That's why I do the rare. Okay. Keep in mind, shop means buy. Yeah, we don't have much gold. Oh no, it's fire sheep. And we got a sheep shearer. You know he's gonna add stress to the party, right? Because he's in the back. Yeah. Those are such angry looking sheep for this music. No stress, just dead. No, there's no stress mechanic. I was kidding. I was making a joke. A chiste.
I like how our wizard and our priest are slow. I'm sorry to hear that, Caesar Pony. Very sorry. Why do you have to discard? Uh, because the cards I'm using, they have a different benefit, but in order to use them, it, uh, consumes it. Okay. Oh, this is the heavy strike I got. Draw one card, deal 22 damage. But it's only the front monster. cuts yeah maybe we shouldn't have chosen this harder <laughs> mode <laughs> this seems much harder <laughs> okay well we learn we learn I was expecting that to die. It dies in... Don't use an entire Frostbolt on that. You can use the one energy because it'll kill it because of the bleed. Oh, the bleed will die. Okay, but what is it? Charge battery. Gain one extra energy per alien. charge at the start of the turn. Then remove all charges. Deal one lightning damage per charge to the target at the sides at the start of the turn. Remove one charge. Should I do that? Yeah. The character will die, okay. And then what is this grant? Grant shield and insulate, okay. Heal spells, I like that. Yeah. So that sheep should die on his own turn, right? That front one? Yep. Yeah, but man, this is much harder. Is that like a reaction attack you had? Yeah, I bought this thing where it just throws a pebble at someone every turn. <laughs> Just throw chucking rocks at people. I don't anyway, have any other move. By the way, this is like a roguelike guy, so there's uh you do a run, you get as far as you can. Certain things unlock for next runs, but it's supposed to be pretty darn hard. This card is removed from combat when it's played. All right, let's do that. I ah, see it. All everything he does is front. And, so what should I do? Uh, you'll be able to kill with fast track, and then you can use the rend on the second sheet. I don't like that the characters don't move up. Scares me. A shielding sheep? Ruminant bite. Oh my god. Oh wow. I wonder if that would have dispelled the bleed anyway, what he just did. Um, okay. Mana gem. I like mana gem. That's nice. I'm just gonna go out to farmer. 
Yeah. Let's kill this farmer. There we go. Rip Bozo. Rip Bozo! Also, keep in mind you can save energy for future terms up to 10. Okay. That's the yellow here underneath. Yeah. <laughs> Pebble throw! I like the I like the um, the graphics are cool. Like the art art style is nice. It's bright! You know? I like my worgen warrior. This card is removed from combat when played. All right, prevents one fast for charge. Made them slow and vulnerable. This is an intercept. All right. Um. Oh, I should have used the other one. Ah, I can save it. Next turn. Ooh, it made you insane. That's rude. Damage done minus one percent. I can put my face on them. You can put on the card? Oh, you can basically tell me what to play? That's yeah. pretty funny. I want you to play this. All right, what does transmission do? Um, Gain one extra energy per charge at the start of turn this card. Draw one. I don't even understand that one. The axes are dependent on how many cards are in your hand. Yeah, but what is... Okay, so this card's removed, then gain one extra energy per charge at the start of the turn, then remove all charges. It basically is saying that for one turn I'll give you it, and then it'll get rid of it. Well, it's going to give me two charges, though, I think, right? I don't know. Yeah. Oh, and you can pick who to give it to? I give it to you, Pikachu. I energized you. So giving one extra card draw and two extra energy to somebody. Okay. Do you have extra energy this turn? Yep. Nice. Tunes are great. You like it, Sakura? Yeah, it's pretty neat. Anybody just tuning in? I'm playing with my son Logan, and he's controlling the second and and fourth characters in the party. All right, we beat it. All right, so now choose one of these cards. Okay. I like how I chose completely randomly last time. A kind gesture. Somebody snagged something from the Humble Store. Thanks, somebody. Humble Store purchase made for What'd forty nine dollars and ninety nine cents. All right, prevents one fast per charge. Remove one charge when this happens. What is a fast, gang? Prevents one fast. Choose burn. When you don't eat, thank you. Thank you, gang. I was gonna make that joke. Were you? Chat will make all the obvious silly jokes before we have a chance. Oh, I can stop now. Yeah, it was made twice, actually. <laughs> break, <laughs> break fast when you don't eat. All right, so this is the special thing where we have not enough money for any of it. Okay, Let's cool. go. Let's go. How do we exit? Exit. 